Check one, two, yo, yo. Check one, two, yo, yo. Hello, everybody. Momo from the Momo Zone. Hope you're having an awesome day. Okay, I'm here with my friends Yanobi. Yanobi! Kayo. Hanobi! Now that is some cool names. All right, these guys are from a project called Oscar Soup, and they Osara are- Osara Soup. Oh, what's what? Osara Soup. Jesus Christ, I called it Oscar <laughs> Soup. These guys are from a project called Osaka Soup. Osara. <laughs> <laughs> That's a difficult one. These are going to be great blit blit blit. Yeah. These guys are from a project called Osara Soup, yes. and it is some fringe festival live theater, some mime stuff, and it's comedy. So I've known Yanobi over here for, uh, what, four or five, five years? Five years, yeah. Five years. Mm -hmm. And every year she comes down here from Tokyo mm -hmm. and she comes and visits us. And I'm so thrilled she brought a friend. Why don't you tell me a little bit about what is happening with your project, what it's all about? Yes, uh, my show is a physical comedy show. Uh, basically non-verbal, we don't speak, but we use many music and sound effects. It's really ridiculous and funny and weird. Oh yeah, and being funny is cool. Guys, I keep telling you guys that, you know, laughter is something that I consider you know, something that you need to take you out of anything that, you know, any kind of bad mood you might be in. You're depressed, you want more energy, you want more juice. Well, when you laugh, you don't take yourself too seriously. And these people are not only funny as, as like you've never seen, but they're living their dream. They're going out, look at the makeup on these people, man. They do all their own makeup, they build their own costumes, they design and do write their own show. And uh, you're living the stuff. So you've gone out, you want some awards this year. Yes. Let's talk about that. Yeah, we won uh, Centaur Theatre Best Production English Theatre, which is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. You gotta love that when you take some people from Tokyo to come down here to win the English uh, contest, which is what it's happening about. Because I remember when I first met you, you were just learning how to speak English. Yes. And listen to you now. <laughs> Thank it's you. amazing. Yeah, I'm trying. Let's talk a little bit about the show. The show is called My Exploding Family. Oh, uh, yeah. I love it's that. It's a really weird, funny story about the family. Uh, and uh, we play all together every day and night. And some strange things happen all the time. Um, can you give me some examples of like like some kind of situations that you've adapted to, to your, your comedy? Yes, uh, like for, for example, uh, of course I was born by her, but uh, when she was knitting the red wall, then I born. <laughs> then you were born, so you yes. were born from some red wall. Yes, oh, that's just a, like Liz. I understand. <laughs> We love all the kids and all the grumpy adults as well. The grumpy adults. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so we are so happy to make the people happy. If you got to give some advice out there, right, to some of these kids and these people that are watching us over here about going out and live your dream, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, living a dream is really, it's everybody's dream to find something they want to do. Yeah. I admire the way you guys follow through Every year you come back and you don't just come here, they travel around the world, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, they go all around North America and, and even in Europe and, and they're doing their thing, you know. And not everybody follows through. What can you tell these people to go out there and do what you gotta do? I really love tiny, small things. Uh, not like I'm following, following not the big thing, but I really love tiny things in the daily life and we can make it more happier to find something really beautiful or something funny. So that's uh, that, uh, why I can keep going. So. so in other words, you know, some people, they have too many ideas. Oh, I could do this, I could do this, I could do that, I could ever get nothing done. Mm. You are saying that you take you take an idea, yes. you keep it small, you keep it simple, and then you build from that, yeah. and then you actually have something. Yes, just because I'm trying to keep doing in in real. So not only thinking, but just try. And all, always, uh, of course, I make some mistakes or some failure, but still I can find something. 
and uh, explore yeah yeah something good so it's really exciting for me feeding your mind you know when I was talking to her before she told me something really interesting when I asked her you know growing up did you want to do this when you were a little girl like what were your influences I asked her oh did you learn this from movies or videos you were watching from Tokyo or America like what was it and then she said to me that she read a lot and then she let what went into her head turn into her own ideas and I think that's quite different than a lot of people that I've seen that can watch stuff because I'm really into what I call video therapy you know I believe if you see yourself in a certain way um, you can never get worse than that because it's the example they say oh wow I look like this you know uh, now I got to get better I can really see it you know mm -hmm. but reading and then just taking that information and expressing it outwards I don't think too many people do it with just that that's mm -hmm. an amazing thing why don't you explain a little bit about that <laughs> yes uh, I really love the reading books and uh, that because uh, th there is no certain right answer in that but uh, I can imagine everything in my mind. It's really freedom, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. freedom. Yeah, freedom. So I can go anywhere in the world uh, with reading and imagine something. So that um, I also love to watch films, but uh, much prefer reading because they're uh, unlimited world. Guys, that is amazing you gotta follow through with your dreams and I gotta tell you again laughter is one of my favorite things you know being in a relationship for 29 years I was telling you before that one of my key things is I laugh my ass off every morning when I wake up with Gorilla and to me it's one of the greatest moments I laugh when I go to sleep I laugh when I wake up I laugh during the day you know and you can't take yourself too seriously because otherwise you get nothing done you know what I mean you never you're never ready enough you know but you go out there you're living your dream and you got to constantly reinvent yourself in order to come up with new material new ideas and expand your mind what's the future for this project we really love to visit many other places and also we love kids and uh, also um, we love to visit uh, the, the area of uh, tsunami area in Japan because uh, there happened this uh, really big serious disaster but uh, I believe that people still need something funny and I really love to make them happy just a little but I believe the comedy has some power actually that is amazing that's right uh, you know we got to send out some really positive vibes to those tsunami survivors and all that stuff out there and you've actually been to the sites and you've seen the disaster itself maybe even people that you know have been affected what is that like is it like yeah it was really terrible and uh, so many people were uh, sad and confused at that time and still now uh, there's there are such a, so many serious problems in my country uh, but still people are trying to be strong and tough and better I think and also uh, I believe that uh, we have to cry sometimes of course but we have to laugh or smile at least so I I really want to make something uh, happy <laughs> so it's really necessary and important so. What a beautiful message, guys. I'm getting goosebumps. Look, oh. you can see that. I got, I, got, I got goosebumps from the beautiful worlds. Hey, look, we got to come together. I don't care how you do it. Laugh, have fun, mm -hmm. help your neighbor, send positive vibes, send positive, positive energy, mm -hmm. because you know what? We're here today, but we're gone tomorrow. And all we have left after we're here is what we will be remembered by, by what we have done with our actions while we were here and I think that what you guys are doing is absolutely beautiful thank you every time I see you guys I get a, a great beautiful feeling uh, I saw you in, in a, I was walking down the street and we walked into a store we haven't seen each other in, yes. in a few years and it's like pow oh wow you know, you know? and I, I think it's beautiful when you meet people that even from a distance you think about them and you don't see them and you feel good in your heart and it makes you smile and and then you see them in real life and as you're walking towards them it's like oh no there they are and it just brings happiness peace out guys <laughs>